the freezer. All right. Hey, we are live. I know, right? You can ask for a better day today. Do you want me to get your ice? Uh, we can get the ice when it's ready. When it's, when it's time. You know what I mean? Done. <laughs> All right. Well, we have three people on. All right. Hey, we're going to get this cocktail going here in just a minute. So for this one, we have a, a really cool cocktail today. It actually um, has the uh, basil simple syrup in it. So it's kind of a cool rendition that we're doing that you can either, you know, I'm going to show you guys actually how to make the basil simple syrup. Or uh, if you want to just use regular simple syrup, you can totally do that too. But this is going to be pretty killer. I know. Super excited. All right. Should we uh, get get it going? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, yeah. I'm having a little uh, Bundaberg right now. Perfect for what I needed. I was doing some work in the yard. So. All right. So what we're going to do is, uh, hey, what's up, Layla? Layla, belong long. Get your shaker. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Perfect. All right, get your shaker, and we're going to go ahead and uh, fill this baby up with ice. All right, so I have this about half full of ice. So for this recipe, it's uh, if you have a shot glass and... Uh, I'm going to tell you how to do this either in shots or ounces, whichever. So it's going to be two shots or two ounces of either gin or vodka, okay? And then one shot of lime juice or one ounce. And then three quarters of a shot or three quarters ounce of simple syrup. So whichever it is that you want to do. Cool? All right. So we have the gin going on here. We also have the good old Kirkland Signature Vodka. I love that stuff, you know. Um, it's great for doing cocktails. So we're going to do a vodka rendition of this right now. Oh, and actually, let me dive into the simple syrup. It's super cool. So the simple syrup, uh, if you've never made simple syrup before, it is a one-to-one -one ratio of sugar and water. Okay, so for us, we did one cup of sugar, one cup of water, okay? And then we did one heaping tablespoon of dried basil, okay? Now, if you're using fresh, you're gonna use a quarter cup, okay? So I got this right there, basil, a heaping tablespoon. And then we toss that into the Vitamix, blend it up, get it nice and smooth so there's no chunks, and this is what you're gonna end up with, okay? That simple syrup. It's we perfect. did use the nut milk bag to strain it. Oh, perfect. So, uh, and, in, and if you do, if maybe your blender doesn't blend as smooth as that, uh, grab one of these. It's right there. Where'd it go? Disappeared. So this is a uh, nut milk bag for like, making like almond milks and things like that. It's a lot finer than like a cheesecloth. And these uh, synthetic ones, you can just wash and reuse them again and again and again. Uh, those we have, uh, do we have those back in stock? They're on our website. Okay, they're on the website, a la carte cooking.com. Uh, you can get those and those things are awesome uh, for not just doing like nut milks, but also doing straining and things like this. Uh, another really cool recipe, and we ought to do this, is the watermelon. You do um, watermelon juice. And you use that to strain it, and it's awesome. And those make incredible cocktails, too. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and uh, get this going. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start off with the vodka. So we are going to do two shots of vodka. There we go. 
take two shots of vodka, one shot of lime juice, one shot or one ounce. Fresh squeezed. Ooh, that fresh squeeze. There we go. And so this one here, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Um, in some other shot glasses, this might be a little bit easier to see if you have a glass one, but you're going to do a three quarters shot in the uh, shot glass. So this one here, as, as you can see, you can't see through it, but something like this might be a little bit easier to eyeball it. So, I mean, what's your worst case scenario? You know what I mean? You have to make another cocktail. <laughs> All right, there we go. Three quarters. Boom. All right, you guys, let's give this a nice little shake. So today you can ask for better weather. A nice little light rain in the morning, and then all of a sudden, Sun popped out. It's got to be almost 70 degrees out, which is just perfect. So something like this, I recommend doing a nice chilled glass in the freezer to serve this in, and then you just garnish it with some lime, okay? Look at that beauty. Look at that. Beautiful. So when we first made this um, and looked at the ingredients, I was a little... Uh, you know, a little standoffish since that simple syrup is so dark. I was like, ah, you know, I don't know about this one. <laughs> but looking at it now, gorgeous. Mm, perfect. Someone asked, hey. what was the brown water that you added? The brown water. <laughs> I could go a lot of ways with this one, Liz. Okay. This is the basil simple syrup. So I know you have Vitamix at home, so you can definitely make this, you know, the exact same way that we did, but mm -hmm. it's going to be, it's a homemade simple syrup. You can go to the store and buy simple syrup. Totally going to work. But with the basil, you want to liquefy that into it. Okay. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio of water and sugar. So we have one cup of sugar, one cup of water, and then we have a heaping tablespoon of dried basil. Okay. And, or if you have fresh basil, you're going to do one cup fresh basil. Okay. And, and actually with a fresh basil, it'll, it probably won't come out as dark as this, but in the end, you know, you're only using three quarters of an ounce. So it's, it's not going to really, in, in my opinion, make the cocktail that dark. You know what I mean? Okay. So, and if they use fresh basil, how much fresh basil? Fresh basil, quarter cup. We're getting demands for where's oh, Bruce. Oh, where is Bruce? We Layla. want Bruce. We want Bruce. Ooh, there he Mom's is. on. Layla's on. Oh, Grandma my Mimi. Goodness. Oh, night night. And he's asleep. <laughs> Just like that. He's so tired. Long day today, huh? And, yep. <laughs> he's getting <laughs> I'm going to stay away. He's so funny. All right. All right. Ready for boy. the gin one? I know. I thought this was about making cocktails. It is not. <laughs> it is about Bruce, little Brucey. Oh, thank you for the kisses. All right. Okay. Let mommy hold you. Thank you, mommy. All right. Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you guys. This one, the vodka one, awesome. Let's do the gin one. All right, so.
You guys like my abs? I've been working on them. Yeah, they look good. Thighs, huh? Huh? A little bit of lightning. A little bit of thunder, huh? Huh? <laughs> I love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the gin one. So just as uh, the same as the vodka. Oh, let me get some ice in here real quick. So about half full of ice. We're gonna do two ounces or two shots of the gin. There we go. There we go, beautiful. Okay, we're gonna do an ounce of that lime juice. I like how we're using our steamer cup for our espresso machine to hold the lime juice. Classic. Oh, we have a question. Yeah. Uh, are you using, when you're in your shaker, are you using crushed or and cracked ice or whole ice? Whole. Good question. Whole ice. Um, what I have found is that the whole ice is going to do, it's, it's going to cool it perfectly. But with the strainer, I find that some of the cracked ice will get through, and you know I'm bougie. I don't want I don't want ice chunks in my in my cocktails or martinis. You know what I'm saying? So whole ice, perfect. All right, and then we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce or three quarters of a shot of the basil simple syrup. All right, let's go ahead and shake this baby up. I know, right? So with this one, same as before, I'd recommend to serve this. I'd recommend to serve this uh, in a chilled glass. All right. Perfect. You know, and there's probably a few different ways you could do this too. So one of the ones that I want to try, and I'll probably do that um, a, diff a different time, is instead of uh, basil, I think that maybe thyme would be a good one or rosemary would be a good one. So when we do that, I'll kind of do an update on other cocktails with like, you know, fresh herbs and, and spices and things like that that are kind of in season that we can do, that we can play around with. Beautiful. No waste. I love that. No waste. There we are. How about that? Cheers. Cheers. Chink, chink. <laughs> Brucey boy. Oh, hi, Bruce. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Cheers to you guys. Try this. Let me know what you guys think of that. And uh, I, I want to hear definitely some uh, suggestions and, um, you know, uh, other things that you have maybe found that uh, are kind of like your own kind of signature cocktail of different ingredients and stuff like that, that you've kind of put together based off of uh, other recipes, you know, other, other cocktails, you know, gimlets, uh, old fashions, so on and so forth. So lately in the house, we've been, uh, definitely smoking up a lot of cedar in the kitchen, uh, doing smoked old fashions and stuff. So I wouldn't be too surprised if you see something like that in the very near future. So cool. Other than that, you guys, thanks for joining us. <laughs> thanks for joining, uh, Bruce and, uh, baby booties. He's running around here somewhere. Oh, where is Baby Booties? This handsome guy got a new haircut today. Look at him. 
Look at this handsome boy. Hi, Boots. <laughs> Hi. So, yeah. <laughs> Look at these two monkeys. Look at you guys. <laughs> so funny. All right, you guys. Thanks for joining us. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye. Manic